What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Ah, da, 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 da. Let's see. There we go. Oh, and it makes noise. What is going on? You guys, I have been wanting to make this recipe for, it feels like weeks. Um, so I'm excited that I finally got a carrot. I don't think I've had carrots in my house in forever. So, uh, I got a carrot, a really big one. So in case we do like this one, I can make it again, uh, and shred it up some carrots. So as you guys hop on, say hello, let me know where you're coming in from. How was your Monday? It is still Monday, right? I think. <laughs> mm. Anyway, we're going to do another share giveaway this week. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure you share this video out. Keto and low carb people, well, maybe not, maybe not keto people because it's got carrots in it. God forbid the carrots make us fat. Um, but definitely, uh, low carb people are going to love this. Um, because I don't know about you, but I've missed carrot cake. Like it's not something you have all the time, but it's definitely something you have on occasion and I miss it. I don't like, I don't know. For the last couple of months, I'm like, dang, I really want a piece of carrot cake. Anyway, so I, I'm going to try this recipe. Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, and we will, we will see. So as you guys hop on, say hello. If that little red live button is up there or there, depending on what device you're on, um, drop the word live down below. If you are on the replay and those live buttons are not there, uh, that means you're watching replay. So just drop hashtag replay and say hello below. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started. So the oven is preheated at 350 degrees and I've got everything ready to go. So we're going to start out with two cups of almond flour. Now, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you keep your almond flour on the counter? Do you keep it in the cupboard? Do you put it in the fridge? Do you put it in the freezer? So um, the thing about almonds is or with almond flour or any kind of nut flour is you want to keep it as cold as possible because it's just like any other nut's going to go rancid if it gets hot. So I normally keep the majority of my nut flours in the freezer and then I keep one bag um, ready to use in the fridge for when I want to make like this, when I want to make um, a bread or a cookie or something that calls for it, and then it's not clumpy. So if you are keeping your uh, nut flours on the counter, I highly suggest putting them either in the fridge or the freezer, depending on where you have where you have the most room. Okay, so we've got um, two cups of flour. We've got a what is this one? A fourth of a cup of sugar. I'm using Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Whoa. Oh, here it is. I was like, what did I do with it? So this is the kind of sugar that I'm using, the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. You can buy all Accords, you can use Swerve, you can use Allulose, you can use whatever keto sweetener you like. I just really like uh, monk fruit sweetener, so that's what I use. So we've got a fourth of a cup of that. We're going to add in two eggs right here. Let me know if you guys like carrot cake or am I the only one? Are you guys like, ew, gross, carrot cake? What? Okay, let me know. If you guys need me to make like blueberry cake or something. Ooh, I did make, oh, oh, okay. Let me just get back to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we've got our almond flour. We've got our sweetener. We've got our two eggs. We're gonna do cinnamon and baking powder. Both one teaspoon of both. We're gonna do two ounces of half and half. There we go. And then we're gonna do, this is not, um, this is just softened butter. It's not melted butter, but it's gonna be two tablespoons of butter. And actually this one's, this one's still kinda hard, so I think I'm gonna put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds or so. 
go in the bowl. Go, go, go in the bowl. Everybody get off the spatula. Here we go. Alright. Everybody leaves their food in their microwave. Okay. Let's do like 10 seconds. I don't want it melted. I just want it soft. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. It's not quite liquid. It's fine. Carrot cake. Can't have it because of the cinnamon. Uh, you could just take the cinnamon out. It would be okay. There's only one teaspoon of cinnamon in there, so I really don't think it's going to be a huge, like, make it or break it moment. Love carrot cake. Yes. I'm super excited. Okay, so we've got one, two cups of flour, a fourth of a cup of sweetener. I've got two ounces of half and half, two tablespoons of butter, two eggs, one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon baking powder. And then I'm going to mix this. I'm going to mix this until it's well combined. I know you guys talk about that mixer behind me all the time and you're like, you have such a pretty mixer, why don't you use that? Listen, Linda, when Ricky um, changed out my countertops, my um, new counters are tall and my mixer doesn't fit underneath the cabinets anymore and to put it on my on my um my stove top makes me nervous because i don't want it to bust it you know so it sits there and it does things like shred carrots and shred zucchini and shred cheese <laughs> okay all right so you get that really well incorporated super mixed up you're gonna do a half a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut and you're going to do three-fourths of a cup of shredded carrot. Okay. You're going to take those two and you're going to mix them in. You're going to get them well incorporated in there. So, again, the oven is prepped at 350 degrees. And I got the wrong pan out for this. Actually, I think. Well, maybe not. I don't. It calls for an 8x8 eight eight pan. I don't have an 8x8 eight eight pan. I know. You're shocked and off. T take a moment. Be like, oh my God, she doesn't have a pan. I know. I know. It's fine. I don't have an 8x8 eight eight pan. So, we're just going to give this a good spray. I know I'm using regular oil because otherwise everything sticks so whatever if you don't want to use oil then just line your pan line your pan people line your pan anyway okay so that's what it looks like okay we're just gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees <laughs> splat all right get it all out you guys know or if you don't know if you know you know if you don't know I have an issue with not getting everything out of the bowl okay so if you're watching me and you're like good lord why is that lady scraping the bowl for a fourth time get over yourself I like it Scraped. Yeah, I think this is way too, this is way too big of a pan. Okay. Hold, please. What if I put it in? What if I put it in pie plate? I'm doing it this one. It's fine. You can change your, you can change your mind in the middle, okay? You can change your mind in the middle. It's okay. It's okay to change your mind in the middle. Bump. And it's okay to have sound effects. 
or break, or break stuff. It's fine. I didn't break it, I promise. Sounded like I did. And I'm making a lot more dishes for Gabby to do later, but it's fine. I think this is a much better fit. Okay. There we go. Look at that. So now we're going to put it in the oven for about 35 minutes. And we've got the oven set at 350. Now I got it all scraped out. Everything is good to good to go. You guys, I'm going to make some keto zucchini bread too. Not tonight, but I already I already uh I already shredded the zucchini. This is what happens when your kids don't know where stuff goes. It ends up in the in the oven. Okay, so it's going in the oven. 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Now, while that cooks, if you have some leftover cake, I'm at the church. Well, if it's done by the time Ricky goes to Brave, I'll send some with him. I will send him your, I will send some your way. Okay, so let me rinse out these little beaters in this bowl. And while the, um, while the cake is cooking, we're going to go ahead and we are going to make the frosting. So you can put this. Had to clean my beaters okay i had to clean them they're clean um anyway so you can put this um cream cheese as a filling or you can use it as a topper um i'm literally just going to put it over the top of the cake uh because i don't want it in the middle i want it on the top because that tastes better it's yummy that way okay i'm making a mess with my with my stuff. Okay. So let me know if you guys would like it better. What do you guys think? In as a stuffing or do you want it on top? What do you think? I think on top is better. I look like I'm stressing out. No, I'm okay. I'm good. Okay, so that's all cleaned out. Let's see, we're gonna do our cream cheese. We're gonna do four, and I think I forgot to rinse this stuff off. We're going to rinse this stuff off. All right, there we go. We're gonna do four ounces of cream cheese. This is super cold, so I should probably warm it up a little bit too. Warm it up a little bit. We're just gonna wash as we go. All right, this one had butter in it. Now it's gonna have cream cheese in it. So we're gonna do four ounces of cream cheese, but I'm gonna soften it just a little. Just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do that. Do it on top, on top, on top. Whoa. My husband is doing good. He had um, a doctor's appoint, uh, appointment on Friday with the heart failure clinic. So they are, um, they're sending him for some more tests at the hospital the 7th. I can't remember if it's the 7th or the 9th. 
uh, but he's having some more scans done um, on his heart and um, they're still waiting. There's two more medications they want to get him on for his heart um, to try and get the, um, the progression of the heart failure to kind of slow down um, because the kind of heart failure he has, it's not something that they can treat to make it better. Um, they just have to, they just have to, um, like treat the symptoms more or less and try to make it so it doesn't get worse. Woo, that's hot. So, um, that's kind of where, that's kind of where we're at. We're just trying to make it not get worse. But he's doing good otherwise. Two tablespoons of butter, one to three tablespoons. Oh, teaspoons. I wasn't ready for this part. Let's see. Teaspoons. You guys, I have so many. Oh, there's one. I have so many cups, so many spoons. They're everywhere. Okay, so we've got four ounces of cream cheese. We're going to do eight, excuse me, six tablespoons of powdered sugar. So I had to make some more powdered sugar before we came on live. So what I do is I take regular sugar. That was three, four, five, six. So I don't forget. So I take the regular keto sugar. So the regular granulated Lacanto like this. And I put it in my Ninja. I just, you can see the powdered sugar on the, on the thing. So I just put it in my Ninja or my Magic Bullet or whatever you have your blender and you powder it yourself. And then you don't have to buy powdered sugar. You can just powder it when you need to. Okay, so we've got four tablespoons, excuse me, Four ounces of cream cheese, six tablespoons. We're gonna do two tablespoons of butter. I totally melted it, it's fine. It's fine. There we go. And we're gonna give this a mix. But first we're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla. This is one, so I'm just gonna do half. Okay, and then we're gonna do one to three teaspoons of half and half. So how about we start with two? We start with two and then if we need a third one, we'll add a third one. One, two, <laughs> that was a little much, but that's okay. All right, okay, let's see. Oh, I didn't set the timer for the cake. <gasps> no. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Okay. We get everything well incorporated. It looks delicious. It looks like cream cheese frosting. Looks like cream cheese frosting. Mm. Tastes like cream cheese frosting. <laughs> I don't think we need any more um, half and half. I think that was like the perfect consistency. You guys can see, mix it a little bit. So that will go on the cake after it cools a little bit. Um, and then we can give it a try. So if you are not already friends or following me, you definitely want to do that. Um, so that, um, you can see, whoa, 
was loud. So that you guys can see the live taste test of this. Normally, I have one of the kids or Ricky do a taste test on my stories so you guys can tell if I'm lying or not if it's good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't lie to you. If it's bad, I will straight up tell you, do not make this. Do not make this. <laughs> but I haven't made this one yet. It it looks good. It smells good. Sometimes when you make a uh, new recipe, you're like, oh, that's not going to be good. But this one, I think, I think, I think we got it. I think it's a good one. So anyway, make sure you're friends with me or following me or both, preferably both. Um, and then Make sure if you guys want this recipe, drop recipe down below. And if it's good, I'll post it. If it's not, I'll tell you don't make it. Um, but that'll also get you an uh, invite to my recipe group. We've got thousands of recipes. We've got like literally tons and tons of recipes, keto, low carb, uh, high fat, all of the things. Um, so definitely drop recipe to below and I'll get you into there. Otherwise, come back or watch my stories and see the review. Otherwise, see you guys later. Make sure that you share this out. Again, we are doing a share giveaway. We'll do the giveaway on Friday. So for anybody who shares throughout the week, you get an entry into um, the share giveaway for how many times you've shared. So make sure you slam the share button, share it to your friends, family, keto groups, low carb groups, all the people, um, and then drop how many times you've shared it in the comments. And then we'll do our giveaway on Friday. And who knows what you might win. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. See you later.